excellent utility program called KeyPress to display key presses and mouse button clicks, including the use of the scroll wheel. It can also display the repetitions of activity, such as repeated mouse clicks or single and clustered key presses. It has the option to show a text line of information or several single lines one after another in timed sequence at the bottom of the key press window. A custom background with a logo is also possible. Activity is displayed momentarily here at the top and retained as part of history. Additional lines of history can be configured to display also. Key and or mouse combinations are recognized and displayed. Depending on the timing between key presses, clusters of keystrokes can be shown. A maximum of characters per line can be configured. When reached, it splits the lines in history automatically. Holding down a button can also be shown. Here, a left-click hold to drag is indicated. What follows is a more detailed discussion of the key press settings and the reasons why I changed some of them to suit my particular use. This is only of interest to those who might want to use the key press program themselves. Here is a magnified picture of the key press window. I created a custom flat green background with a small logo in the, the bottom right corner. In the KeyPress Settings main display tab, you can choose either a flat background color or a background image. In this case, I created a custom background image. How was this done? By looking in the Program Files KeyPress Backgrounds folder, you will find the default background JPEG file. The details of the file's properties show its dimensions, which you should duplicate within whatever image editor you use. I used Photoshop to create a custom background file, matching as best I could the properties of the default file. You'll notice that the logo is situated near the middle of the right edge. This was easily positioned in Photoshop after finalizing certain key press settings which determined the size of the window. In the main display tab of the settings window, the number of characters, the suggested width of the main interface, the font size of the active input, and the font size ratio of the history text to the active input text have bearing on the window size. In the bars tab, the number of lines of history and the inclusion of the static text bar also affect the dimensions of the key press window. I wanted the key press window to be placed over the sonar window in an area that wasn't very busy. By restricting the number of modules in the sonar control bar, I created the ideal space. This space limited the number and size of what elements I chose to include within the key press window. There are a multitude of features available for configuration within the seven key press settings tabs. I can see how this very useful and comprehensive application could be employed not only by those creating tutorials and demonstrations, but also by IT techs and network administrators supporting clients. <laughs>